So how many other videos have you seen that's got part three of two? <laughs> Any regular viewer of my videos knows that I'm a very, very patient, patient person. But this uh, SP Racing F3 Mini, I've had enough. I really have had enough. Um, the S bus doesn't seem to work properly. I don't know why. Uh, I've tried absolutely every configuration, every modification, every setting, you name it, I've tried it. And it seems to, um, it's got glitches in it. So I've decided I'm going to use them. Now, with the Nays, uh, this is actually a Nays full because they've come down price in the in the Revision 5, the Rev 5 or whatever you want to call them, because they've come down in price so much because of the Rev 6, which there isn't that much benefit in using the Rev 6. Uh, this has actually got the onboard flash, uh, so as you can use a black box uh, recording on it. It's got the barometer, it's also got the, the mag, so I'm going to disable the mag and the barometer anyway because uh, I only fly fly acro but I can actually enable um, soft serial on this so I can use GPS I can use um, I can plug the, the uh, D4R into it and I can put the OSD on there and I can put a Bluetooth module on there I can basically do everything with that but that effing thing in there you can't really do a lot with because it doesn't support GPS yet apparently so I'm going to fit that with the nays in order to use soft serial so as you don't get a problem with your USB connector when you plug it in um, the RX and the TX on here they are shared with the USB port so your best not to use those that's actually UART1 uh, which 99% of people use for telemetry or uh, for OSD so I don't use that basically well you know it always happens to me I've been trying to get this GPS working with uh, beta flight I've got it all wired up checked absolutely everything God knows how many times and I'm using soft serial and I couldn't get it working so I've flashed clean flight on it and it works and I found out that beta flight is disabled to enable space for G-tune I think it is so unfortunately I can't run beta flight on it now Well, the moment of truth, I've cut absolutely everything off. I've replaced this camera because it was very heavy, it's in a metal case. And I've put the Fat Shark 600 TVL on there, which is in a plastic case, so it is quite a bit lighter. Uh, I've cut as much wiring out as I possibly can. I've actually thinned the wiring in places that it just doesn't need to be that thick. So it's all ready, streamlined, as light as possible. So what I'll do is I'll put the weight up here, or down here, wherever, what it used to be, and I haven't weighed this yet. So here we go. 411. How much have I saved? 410. I think I'm going to be pissed off when I find out what it used to weigh. It's now running uh, beta flight. Um, absolutely superb. It's all been tested. I've got a lumpy motor, but... There you go, it's ready to fly. Another one for the summer.